guys, what's going on? It's me, Andy, your boy, Worst Effing Gamer, and I'm back with another Hero Awakening. Today, we have the brand new hero, Eldor, is about to be awakened. I'm crazy excited about this, guys. I can't freaking wait. I was actually expecting this to happen tomorrow, but shoutouts to Lilith, because they've been actually opening the dojos and um, the... Bountiful Caverns, Fridays and Saturdays, which is phenomenal. They've been helping out with the Awakenings a lot. So let's go ahead. Let's not waste any more time, guys, if you are excited for another Hero Awakening. And if you're excited for Eldor to be awakened out of all the people, give me a thumbs up, guys. Drop a like because this is going to be sick. Let's go ahead. Let's begin. I've already done part number one. Now we're just going to go over. We're going to go to part number two and see what we got to do. Let's go. Alright, so for part number two, you have to do the Dwarven Forge six times, guys. So it's going to take you three days to do it. Uh, right now, I've already done four, so we're just going to go ahead. And we're going to sweep Nightmare Stage one more time here. And it is done. That's it. That's all you got to do is as easy as one, two, three, and it is done. We can go back now and complete part number two. Let's go ahead and let's see what part number three has in store. All right, so nobody must die, of course. Nobody will die because I am undeadable. I cannot die. They cannot defeat me, but we're just going to go ahead and use Batman. And go. Let's go. Woo! Ah! I'll destroy all of you. Ooh, nice. I love when they talk so dirty and so rough. No homo. <laughs> But let's go ahead and see. Oh, I'm just waiting for this transformation. Many have tried to defeat me. All have failed. Wait, that sounds familiar. Who the hell? I feel like somebody else said that before. If you know who it was, let me know. I feel like one of my other awakenings, somebody must have been like, All have tried, but all have failed. Nobody can beat me. It's, ta it's do or die. The hell? Why would you say that? Of course it's die. Don't talk so negatively. A victory for the ages. Alright guys. It is now time. The long awaited awakening of Elador is finally about to be done right now. Put your hands together. Grab the guy that's next to you. Or your girl. Or your mom. I don't care. Hold him tight. Because this is happening right now guys. Let's go. Oh what? Whoa! Whoa! What's with the shadow in the background? Oh, wow. That is so freaking sick. Yo, I'm loving this guy's avatar. Oh my god, this is so sick. I love what they did with the, um, the shadow in the back. Holy scraboli. Come on, man. Are you kidding me right now? This is freaking so sick. Wow. Elador, you are insane. What a freaking beast. God damn it. Let's go. Let, look at the change, dude. Are you? That's such a crazy change. Um, All of a sudden, he turned Hulk-like. Very green. His hair is not... Well, it was green before, but now it's like black... He's got a mask on, just jacked out the rear end. Oh my god, so vicious. I love, I love this guy. Alright, Eldor, this guy might be my new favorite hero in the game, guys. Like, but kind of strangely, his wings look like butterflies with that shadow in the back. It's pretty sick. Wow, 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 dude. Woo! Where do we begin? Alright, first things first, let's just break down the true sight, his uh, awakened ability here, and see what this is going to do. Enemies, right, enemies summoned and illusionary units take additional damage. If they die, Elador gains health equivalent to 10% of their health. Wow. So, um, if your opponent summons any type of summoning unit, this guy is going to deal extra damage to them and gain 10% of their health. Summon units take additional 27%, and that's only level 1. Let's go ahead... I'm going to max this out right now, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and max it all the way out. Yeah. And let's see. All right. So maxed out level 40. So an extra 40.42.6% damage to, to freaking illusions. 
That's so great. That's a lot of damage. So those have no place in the arena with Elador here. So I am already loving that. And don't forget his ultimate is insane. It does 6,460 extra physical damage on top of his already beastly. Let's just check that out right now. 4,400 physical attack plus another 5,000, another 6,000. It's, oh, it's past 11,000. That's the highest attack in the game right now. Definite. Not even close. Well, only when he's in his ultimate form. That's the only catch. When he's not in his... If he's not in his ultimate form, guys, he's not as good, to be honest. But if he is in his ultimate form, this dude is destructive. He's a beast, does a lot of damage, and insanely, the more stars you can get on him, the, the better it is because he will transform even quicker in the arena. So that helps out a lot. Moving on, let's go on to Ruins. And if you were alive with me yesterday, then you already know I kind of already prepped some Ruins for him. So I'm going to go with some max health. This one is an energy bonus, 10%. So I'm going to give him a bonus of energy and another health. So more health and more energy. I feel like that's all he needs. He doesn't need any physical. Um, if you have different types of ruins, what I would suggest is probably maybe a physical pierce. That would help out a lot. Some, some kind of a crit ruin stone would be nice too. So crit ruin stones, pierce ruin stones where he can just break down the armor. Something like that would be good on him, alright? Health, more physical attack, it is not really needed, but it could help him out. So there's a lot of different ways you can go with him right now. So, right now, he's pretty much maxed out all the way you can go, guys. So let's go ahead and go and see what else we can do to him. Alright, so you know I had to come to the forge really quickly here. And let's go auto forge for that added bonus boost here. And, um... This guy might be one of the guys that I actually try to unlock all three of his bonuses because uh, if it's a really, really good hero that you use all the time, you really want to work on him as much as possible. So he, not all heroes, you can actually go all the way, but he might be one of them because this dude is a beast. One of the best heroes released lately. I don't think he's better than Batman, so I would put Batman above him, but she's, this guy is probably... Really close. Really freaking close. Alright, next one is physical pierce rating. There we go. That's a good one right there. Uh, max health and physical attack. More physical attack. So, uh, nice bonuses if you can unlock all those right there. So, really nice. Let's go on. Let's check out what we're going to do next to Alador here. Alright, so there was nothing else to do, guys. Next up is an arena battle. And check it out. We are facing a an identical team just like ours in the arena. Because this is for the number one spot. So let's see what happens. There's actually two Elodors there. And uh, they can actually be each other's worst enemy. Because they both will summon a unit. Thus helping the other one out. So let's see if it'll make a difference. So who summons who first? Alright, my Volko ultimate. There we go. Eldor is in his ultimate form here. Alright, a lot of pause in the action, a lot of ultimates going off at once, guys. Oh no! His Batman just almost took out my mirror, but instead, she survived. And it looks like everybody's dead, and I got the win! Everybody's alive! Yeah! Right in the kisser! That's how you do it, boys. That's how we do it. Let's check out some damage. Now, his Aldor died really, really quickly there. <laughs> um, but mine did a lot of damage. Other than Volko, he was second in damage on my team. So that's really good. Even more than Batman. Phenomenal. And that puts us in the number one spot in the arena, guys. Check it out. Very sick. Really cool. I'm loving Elador. This guy is awesome, dude. I really, really love that card. Man. So let's go ahead. Let's go back. And let's give our final opinion. As if you already didn't know. Uh, let me show you guys what pet I got him. I got a Mika on him. So that helps out a lot. Mika is beastie. In a, a physical and in health, but she's only five uh, compatibility hearts right now because uh, you can only go as many hearts as stars of your hero. All right, and that's about it, guys. Uh, that's the Awakening Falador. I hope you enjoy this guy because I think he's really, really sick. If you happen to get him, enjoy him, max him out. If you don't have him just yet, wait until he's released. He will be released one day, and you guys can all enjoy him later on. But for now, I will end this awakening off, guys. I will check you guys out tomorrow and Sunday on my live stream so we can do some more battles with Elador and see what this guy can do. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody.